Hey everyone, today in League of Legends Minis, I wanted to talk about Karma, specifically her ultimate, Mantra. Karma is a pretty unique champion, primarily because she gets her ultimate at level 1. The drawback is that it's a bit underwhelming for an ultimate after level 6, at least compared to other ultimates, so at times it feels like it's less than rewarding to use. However, the strength of the ability is that you get three separate options when using it. The versatility of this ability is the greatest strength. Mantra allows you to amplify one of your abilities. Each ability has a unique use depending on the situation. So first of all, let's start with Karma's Q, Inner Flame. Inner Flame transforms into Soul Flare when used with Mantra. This is your primary poke, damage, and zoning ability. It's really powerful and it's pretty disruptive, but it shouldn't be the only ability you use Mantra on. So many times I see Karma players only empowering this ability regardless of the situation. If you're just gonna blindly fire out skill shots or damage, there are other champions that can do that better. Karma's unique versatility is what makes her strong, and relegating her to a poke champion is misusing her strengths. Karma's W, Focus Resolve, transforms into Renewal when used with Mantra. While Resolve is good for catching and zoning, Renewal is extremely powerful when dueling. Not only does it increase the duration of the root, increasing it up to a maximum of 3.25 seconds at max rank, the longest single crowd control ability in the game. It also heals Karma for 40% of her missing health if the tether isn't broken. This makes it extremely powerful for baiting enemies that think they can kill you when you're low HP. Simply Mantra W and shield yourself, and your enemies will realize the mistake they just made. Regardless of whether you play solo lane karma or support karma, this ability can be used in 1v1s or 2v2 situations to set up really crazy plays. Karma's E, Inspire, turns into Defiance when used with Mantra. This ability should be used for skirmishing and teamfighting, as well as engaging and disengaging. Defiance is as powerful as Sivers on the Hunt. The speed boost gives your team the ability to maneuver around the battlefield however you like, and basically dictate the pace of any fight. The shield also protects everyone in the area. Just make sure you target the champion that's going to take the most amount of damage. Even though the shield is AoE, the target gets a stronger shield. Just based on the raw base stats of this ability, it's one of the most powerful utility spells in the game and should be your most used mantra ability, at least in the mid to late game, as long as you're fighting in a group. Karma's Kid is about decision making on the fly and getting used to making the right decision at the right time. That's what makes this champion strong. She doesn't require really good mechanics to play, it's mostly decision making, and if you make smart decisions, you're going to be extremely useful on Karma. Just remember, you don't have to spam Mantra Q, it's not your only ability. It's really strong, but trust me, the other ones are just as strong, if not stronger, depending on the situation. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.